Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and for my next project, I'm gonna be uh, basically redoing the top of this uh, desk here. This is my workbench, and uh, I have some leftover maple. I'm gonna put a maple top on this thing. Well, I gotta tell you, this is one of those jobs that I just don't really feel like doing, but I'm doing it anyhow. And I think after it gets done, this thing's gonna look pretty awesome. So these are uh, my corner blocks and I'm just roughly cutting them in line with the radius of the table and I'm going to glue these up and then we'll shape them exact so that the two align properly using my disc sander. So I'm just going to glue these up like this and let them sit overnight there's four of these so here's the front of the desk we gotta go around this corner and these are glued up now so this should go on here like this and then we gotta make this fit and of course the black of this thing has the, the back of this thing has the groove in there so we gotta get rid of that and cut this curve and kinda get this first piece started these are glued up pretty good, but I'm going to power sand them and clean them up. So I rounded over the corners of the first piece and I cut off the groove and now what I want to do is uh, get this thing glued on here like that so we're going to glue that up and clamp it on both sides and that should get us a good starting point for our top Now I have the uh, front rail just kind of turned on its side and what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm clamping the front strip right in place where it needs to be. So I'm just going to go through and clamp this.
So here we are, I got, looks like four boards going across horizontally. Things are going pretty well, a little bit slow. I can't nail into the top of the cabinet because it's metal. I could have put plywood down, but um, I didn't. So I'm just gluing. So I'm putting down like uh, liquid nails on the tabletop and then I'm also using like Elmer's wood glue to glue together the uh, boards. And now I have everything clamped up and I'm using that vise on there as like 40 pounds of down pressure. Well, I got it done now, so I'm just letting it dry, and I got some extra weight to press the glue down since I wasn't able to nail it, but so far, so good. Now I'm just going around with a wax stick, and I'm trying to fill the little nail holes from my brad nailer, and then once they're filled, I just rub away the excess wax. Now I'm just going to run a flush trim bit using my router going right down the edge to make everything nice and even. The final step here is running a 3 8 inch round over bit with my router. Alright guys, got the job done. Was it fun? No. Was it easy? No. Does it look better? Yes. And uh, it actually looks really good. So I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can get yourself the Porter Cable router with a plunge base. And I also used it uh, as a table mount in my last project when I was working on the uh, small workbench for small engines so anyhow on double wide six please rate comment and subscribe thank you